Season 2, Attack on Titan. If you are here for any other reason, you need to get up and leave right now. Politely. Just excuse yourself like you would uh, go use the bathroom at a movie theater or something. I have been waiting for today for the entire week. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, the yeah. OADs or OVAs held us over barely. Barely. <laughs> Just barely. Yeah. Our tolerance has increased significantly. And today, it's about to go up a notch again. Season two, baby. Let's go, brother. Jordan, where do we start? I mean, right? Season one, people are calling the appetizer, right? Season two, uh, it's still, we're still in like between the appetizer and the, and the first course, you know? Pretty much. So, uh, yeah, do you have any thoughts, questions, comments regarding season one or any predictions for season two before we jump in? Oh, man. I mean, a lot happened in yeah. the last few episodes of season one. And I mean a lot. Yeah. We saw a lot of destruction of the Stoist district, right? Yep. Annie and Super Aaron had a hand-to-hand -hand battle that destroyed a lot of the city. Yeah. Annie crystallized herself. We don't know if she's going to wake up, when she's going to wake up. And we don't know what she crystallized herself in. Yeah. Um, we saw a titan within the walls. Yeah. That's pretty big. Yeah. Right? I mean, I wrote some things down, brother, but I, I mean. Go ahead, man. I, I mean, once we jump in, we're <laughs> jumping in, Jordan. There's, there's really no going back. Okay. So, Go ahead. Now. I'll try to be as quick as possible because I want to jump right in. Yeah. Was it Armin who said someone who can't sacrifice anything can never change anything? Mm. Was that Armin? When he was speaking to Aaron? I don't know. Okay. I, I just, that quote is yeah. something that I wrote down and it keeps coming up. Yeah. Someone who can't sacrifice anything can't change anything. Uh, That's it, what we saw. I mean, it was either Armin, right? Levi or Commander Ervin. Yeah. One of those three. Yeah. I wrote down some questions as per usual. What other humans can transform into Titans? Mm. Because at the end of episode 25, Erwin, I think we can say Erwin now. I'm saying Ervin. I'm holding to my German pronunciation. <laughs> we saw some people's comments that said we can say Erwin. You can say whatever you want. Yeah. I think Erwin feels more natural to us as English speakers. Yeah. But the dub, right? We go back and listen to the dub and they say Ervin. The dub does say Ervin. Like yeah. every character who says Commander Erwin or Ervin's name says Ervin. Yeah. So I don't know. So Erwin, Ervin, yeah. I don't know which one I'm going to say. Whatever one comes out. Yeah. At the end of episode 25, he hinted at the fact that not only was Annie most likely working and coordinating with others, Within the military police, I believe, mm. he alluded to, but that there are for sure other humans who can turn into Titans. Yeah. And that they're going to launch a full out attack. Yes. On yes. humans who can turn into Titans within the walls. Yeah. Yeah. I believe his quote, he said, um, starting now, we launch an attack on the Titans inside our walls. That's what he said. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, other than that, I mean, we saw a lot in the OVAs or OADs. We saw just how much of a badass yeah. the boy Levi is. Oh, boy. Don't get me started, Jor. Please. I want to get you started. All right. Well, that's my first point. Go okay. ahead. <sighs> Question number one. Can Titans feel pain? Mm. Because... <laughs> What Levi did to that Titan in OVA number five is what you see a butcher 
doing to a big slab of meat at the butcher shop, Jordan. Oh, he geez. sliced and diced that mother f to the limit. Watch your mouth. To the limit, right? And it's almost like he was preparing to bake the Titan, like he was going to put salt and pepper yeah. inside those little slices. Yeah, that's Go what ahead. you thought? Continue. Preparing to bake the Titan, Jordan? You just said he sliced it like a slab of meat, Jerry. He was I'm just playing off of your own severing that Titan like the thinnest slice of smoked ham or salmon. Deli like, meat. <laughs> yeah. Just a, you know, death by a thousand little cuts. Oh, yeah. That's what that was. So I, I want to know if Titans can feel pain. That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, and then a few more questions, Jordan. Why in the world is Super Annie Af Titan after Super Aaron Titan? Yeah. What's this about? What does she want? Yeah. Right? We saw her kidnap Aaron in the forest of, of trees. Mm -hmm. And then Lord knows what she would have done with him here if she had won. <sighs> right? Would she have killed him? Would she have kidnapped him again? What does she want? What does she want? Yeah. Uh, the next question, what does Marco have to do with all of this? Okay, huh. Marco keeps getting implicated. His name keeps coming up. You know, he may be completely innocent, but what does Marco have to do with this? And, you know, how did he die? Yeah, good right? question. Uh, are there a bunch of people in the deep underground just hibernating in rocks similar to Annie? Ooh. I don't know why I have that image in my, in my mind, right? Because Annie presumably is still alive. Yeah. Yet she's sleeping or hibernating. What's going on there? I have no idea. All right. Uh, and then just a few quotes here. One, Aaron, right before transforming, said, right or wrong, it doesn't matter anymore. Just kill. Consequences be damned. Damned. Because it is a cruel world mm. right, we have seen a transformation in aaron right and that was like a a marker for me where there's no turning back right aaron is a changed human mm. you know i don't know if that makes sense aaron super aaron titan is a changed human or you mean aaron aaron the, the human, human being aaron the human being after what he's had to do after what he's gone through what he's seen I feel like he's becoming more and more ruthless. Yeah. You know, and he realizes that, you know, you, you can't be all, oh, you know, all curious anymore. Mm. You, you got to kill. Interesting. Would you, yeah. would you also say that characters like Erwin, uh, Armin, even Levi, Mikasa, yeah. are these characters also becoming more ruthless? Yeah, yeah. And willing to risk it all yeah. to save humanity. Yeah, I, I say Aaron was a little late to the game, right? Uh, He's always been that character who has been a little hesitant. Yeah. All right, two more quick quotes. Quotes, Annie's father said, stand your ground. Promise me you'll return. That's all I ask. Yeah. What's that about? What's that about? Right, and she returned all right. Returned where? To Sheena. Oh, is that what her dad meant by return? That's how I interpreted it. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Seems like there's something important underground in or near Sheena. Interesting. I don't know. Okay. Last quote, as we mentioned, Irwin said, starting now, we launch an attack on the Titans inside our walls. This is going to get messy. <laughs> this is going to get really, really messy. And that's the last thing that bro Levi wants. <laughs> Jared, all great points, brother. Yeah. Great analysis. You have a very keen eye and key, a keen brain. You as well. And um, it's time to use it. Let's go, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's jump right into comments and hear directly from our people. Before we start season two. Okay, so the first comment comes to us from BBQ Burger, mm. aka the name of 
the meal that Levi turned the Titan into, <laughs> BBQ Burp. Yeah. They write, I think the real reason the walls were built <laughs> were to keep the Titan safe from Levi. <laughs> Oh, uh, what a comment. They would, I think they call this a goaded comment, Jared. Is that what you would call it? Oh, goaded. I like that. Goaded comment here. Interesting. Can I read a little poem I wrote for our boy Levi? Please. We, you wrote a poem for Levi? You can call it that. It's more like a sentence. Oh, please. Bro Levi. From untrained thug to brave, battle-tested, beloved, badass. Okay. Um, one more time, I'm going to have you read that. But this time, Jorn, I'm going to uh, have you read it to something very special. Okay? Are so, you talking about some music? Some music. Just a little bit of music. Yeah. All right. After... I forget which OVA we heard it in. It may have been the last one. We asked, what is this song? Yeah. And the people replied, right? They sent it immediately. So um, we're going to listen to it. And you can read your little poem there or just sit back and listen. Just go with it. This is called Bro Levi, everybody. Bro Levi. <laughs> Bro Levi. <laughs> I didn't really think this through. <laughs> it might have an instrumental version. No, we got it, we got it, we got it. Bro Levi. Big Bro Levi. Bro Levi From untrained thug Bro Levi Bro Levi To brave Battle tested God, man. <laughs> I forgot the word. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> From untrained thug to brave, battle tested, and beloved badass there you man. Go. Yeah, that's the man. That's it. He's him. Yeah, he's him. He's him. All right. Thank you so much, BBQ Burger, for your goaded comment. The next comment comes from our patron Apollo's Flower, and they write. It is time to jump in to season two. Let's go. Of A O Motherfucker T. Episode number 26 officially Beast Titan. All right. Whatever that means. Let's go. Here we go, everybody. Enjoy. <笑>その壁は人々の百年の安寧の時を過ごさせた支配されていた恐怖にとらわれていた屈辱も忘れさせて。A distant memory until 8:45, Jared. Yeah. その壁が巨人によって破られた時人類の戦いは始まったそして兵士民間人を問わず多大な犠牲を出しながらも人間の中に紛れ込んでいる巨人の存在を知りついにその一人である兄レオンハートを捕獲することに成功したのか
Is that her head? Hmm. Okay. Oh damn. Is she underground yet? Or that they're taking her maybe? Yeah, I think they're taking her underground right now. Oh, so now they see it. Yeah. Oh boy. Ain't no orders for that. It's not doing anything, Ojir. Yeah. Oh man, he's been through it. Oh, oh! How does he know? Oh snap! Wait, because sunlight. People told us not to watch this intro. Okay, all right, all right. We'll stop that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> because sunlight. Uh, what was Hanji saying back when she was doing her experiments? She said sunlight seems to give them energy or something, uh, something like that, right? Okay. I forget exactly how she put it. Okay. Yeah, that's an interesting development here, yeah. right? Everybody on the ground looking up, not even thinking that. And then Pastor Nick. Yeah. Is that his name? Pastor Nick, man. Okay. He, he knows and, something. And Pastor Nick's the same person who was preaching yeah. at the church or congregation. Yeah. They got wiped away, right? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right, here we go. Beast. Wow. Wow. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That's what you got to do to him. Get the answer. Yeah. Jiu we Damn, she's strong, man. <laughs> the 
Lord ain't gonna save you, brother. Who are you working for, Pastor Nick? Lock him up. Damn. <laughs> We've seen her do that before. With Oluwo. Oh my goodness. Are they a threat? Or, or not without sunlight, Jared? Dang. They just did a little patchwork. They're standing right on top of yeah. where it is. Oh. Inside Rose, Jared. Okay, 12 hours earlier. しかし俺は天才だった。Cardi, <laughs> man. <laughs> Try Titans. Try Super Titan. Try Human Titans. Oh, she is exhausted. That is just pure boredom. In the table? Uh oh. He's sniffing him out, brother. Damn. He said there are likely no Titans among the 104th Cadet Corps recruits. Yeah. Is he talking about Connie, Sasha, and them? Uh-oh. Damn. Get dressed. <sighs> Nanaba. Yeah, they're not even yeah. armed. Oh. Damn. This is 12 hours earlier? Goodness, where'd that one come from? That's the attitude, Mike. I wonder if they're attracted to any at all or, or ah. not. I don't know. 
Damn, I mean, they're just not prepared. <laughs> Connie can't speak. Yeah, he's scared, man. Oh. Oh, oh man. Hmm. <laughs>。<laughs> I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen Bear Tote. Yeah. Okay, are they all aberrants? It appears. How'd they just switch like that, though? One of them is an Olympic uh, ice skater. Ah, Mike. Wow. He said his skills second to only Captain Levi? Yeah. Oh, Krista, man. It's not a good position for these guys to be in, Jor. Yeah. With no ODM gear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's happening? Wall Rose has been breached. Yeah. But there has been a, a, a rewind, right? 12 yeah. hours earlier. Yeah. 12 hours earlier from them finding out that there's a Titan in the wall. Right? I feel like there are many people scattered around. Yeah. Right? So Hanji and them aren't anywhere near yeah. this group of people, right? So it takes a while for word to... Is, is this before the showdown between Super Aaron and Super Annie? Oh, okay, that's a good question. Yeah, the timing is a bit confusing. Yeah. Okay. All right, we have a note here. Information available for public disclosure. Little is known about the Titans inside the walls. They appear to form the walls with a material similar to the female Titans crystal. The leaders of the wall cult seem to be aware of the truth but remain wholly unforthcoming why why yeah why is pastor nick so hesitant yeah to speak up and tell the truth yeah. his entire church just died yeah and they're still praying to the walls yeah what's he praying to yeah and remember they were praying to them like they're gods Jared. maria rose cena i don't understand and you would think this guy would be willing to tell everything after watching all of his people get crushed yeah by titan exactly yeah yeah i don't know what's going on unless they're working with these titans exactly. in the wall and they know exactly who they are yeah huh all right flashback Damn. 
エレンどんなに相手が悪くて憎たらしくてもね突っかかりゃいいってもんじゃないんだよあんたは男だろたまにはこらえてミカサを守ってみせな、うん、Oh dream Damn, she's still by his bedside. She's sleeping while she's sitting up, Jerry. That's love. Yeah, with a scarf in her hand, man.、Mm. Does Aaron know she's in love with him? Good question. Does she know Aaron's in love with her?、Mm. She don't want a new one.、Mm. It's always something, man. So it's after the fact. Yeah. After Annie and Aaron's battle. Damn, put in that work, Mike. Is he doing this solo? Well, he's got to, right? Yeah. He's got、oh. to put the 104th on his back. Four left, he said. This one, Jordan. Jeez. Yeah, this one is straight up ugly. One of the ugliest we've seen. And the shortest. <laughs> Calling for them to come out. What is that? That ain't no abnormal. Oh my. That's Bigfoot. That's Sasquatch. That's Bigfoot. Oh my goodness. That is Bigfoot. That's Bigfoot Godzilla. We、Ooh. found him. Who? He's real. What in the world? Either that's Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Godzilla, or Abraham Lincoln <laughs> reincarnated. <laughs> What in the world? Yeah, fur. Don't tell me he's gonna kill the horse. See ya. Don't tell me it's gonna kill the horse. Oh, we haven't seen this before, John. Oh, is it gonna eat the horse? No. Oh my. Oh, good. Oh. Oh my goodness, not Mika Jerd. He's struggling. He can beat this little guy, no? Drum, what in the world is going on? He's smiling. Dude, he just killed the Titan and he saved Mike. He said, Didn't I just tell you to wait? Another Titan who can talk? Dude, what the hell is going on, man? 
I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, Jared. <laughs> oh my. Look at the other Titan. Good lord. Listening. Oh, this got me scared. The sword? He's gonna take the sword? Jordan, that is the most terrifying thing I have ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Can you imagine how Mike must feel right now? Oh. No, Mike, it's not the time. Man. Let it go, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it go. No, Mike. Mike, he gonna turn around and throw that like a baseball again. Jared, this is oddly familiar to Ilse. Yep, he, he's gonna die, Jordan. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yeah, he don't like that. No, oh, he's in control. He's in control, Jordan. You're gonna have to say something. Okay. The only thing I have to say about this episode, Jared, is holy Hajime. <laughs> or better yet, holy Hajime Isayama. Or better yet, holy Isayama Hajime. Yeah. Whatever one is the best um, combination. Combination of that. Holy <laughs> Hajime. That's the new term from now on, brother. Holy Hajime. Uh, I have to be just completely honest. Um, this ending here gave me a few waves of chills in my body. Yeah. Right, because that is freaking terrifying. Right. We empathize and put ourselves in the shoes of Mike. Right. We are mere mortals. We are human beings. Yeah. When you're looking up and you are just completely powerless, when you have this Godzilla, gorilla, Abe Lincoln, Bigfoot, Sasquatch staring down <laughs> at you, right, yeah. in complete control, can tell the, the four other titans around you to stop. Wait, I told you guys to just wait a minute, okay? Wait a minute. Now I'm going to walk away. Oh, did, did I hear? Mike, did you say something? All right. Ta-da. You guys can move now. What? That's the kingpin. That's the guy right there. Jordan. Well, he must be new to ODM gear, right? Yes. He seems fascinated. And he took the little tiny gear yeah. back with him. Yeah. And did you see how he turned to Mike and said, oh, you can speak. You can speak. As as the second in skill level to only Levi just got devoured by four titans who were controlled by who I assume is the Beast Titan. That's the title of this episode, Jared. Ah, uh, it's called Beast Titan? It's called Beast Titan. Beast Titan. But that's not just a Beast Titan. That's everything you just said it was. 
plus a beer drinking. Did you see the belly on that? Thing? <laughs> Chimpanzee looking, tiniest head I've ever seen compared to the ratio in the size of its arms. It's got the longest wingspan I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Horse tossing. Oh my goodness. And it just sort of walks around. And did we talk about how it speaks fluent? Oh my gosh. Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear what it sounds like in English. <laughs> Do you want to play that scene in English real quick? Sure. Sure. What were you going to say, brother? I was going to say, did you see the way he threw that horse? Yeah. We have not really seen that before. That That's a strike, Jordan. Yeah. Precision. Yeah. Knocked Mike off the, the roof. All right. Is, all of, is Mike dead? I am assuming Mike is dead. Okay. Yeah. Um... And he may have just saved dozens of lives, right? Telling everybody to evacuate yeah. while he takes care of this. Yeah. How does this happen in the first episode of season two? Like, where are we? I'm, I'm like spinning right now. <laughs> right? That happened fast. I don't even know how to process that. Yeah. This was oddly humorous. Yeah. Right? I mean, just thinking about the body posture yep. of this beast titan, this fur titan, and how it walked, and how it was so gentle, almost like it was toying with Mike in every move it made. You go from the last OVA we just watched, where Levi's friends were killed, and you see an image of, of Isabel's head laying right on the ground next to Levi. Yep. To something like this. I I don't know what to make of it. I don't feel the deep sadness I felt yes. in that episode. I feel yeah. like, what the hell is going on? Holy Hajime. And I'm going to tell you why you don't feel the deep sadness. is because now we are connecting with a titan on a level that we have not connected before. Ah. We are relating with this titan. We yeah. are... We are seeing ourselves in this titan the titan was oddly comforting oddly gentle right oddly intelligent oddly articulate oddly strategic right oddly the mover of the chess pieces mm -hmm. like just just like a an omni omnipotent if that's the word figure yeah you know i don't know jordan yeah, and it's the only other Titan we've seen with that level of intelligence and emotional yep. Yep. intelligence. Yep, yep. <laughs> other than the Titan we saw in the first OVA we watched. Ilse's Notebook. Ilse's Notebook. Yeah. And, and that Titan, that was the first time the Titan spoke. Spoke. Yep. And I think Ilse said it's the first time in, in humanity yeah. or something that a Titan spoke yeah. and showed a level of respect yeah. and a, a level of communication yeah. that was previously unknown. Yeah. So this is like, Jared, that was level one in Ilse's notebook. Yep. This is level nine. Right, and, I, and I'm wondering, right, this is also the first time we've seen a Titan that looks this way. Yeah. I'm wondering if all the hair symbolizes maturity. You Interesting. Know? And growth, right? And an ability to uh, learn, right? Because this Titan seemed to be the most intelligent Titan that we have seen thus far. And it seems like it takes a really long time to get to that level. All the other Titans are running around like babies. Goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga, I told you to wait. Yep. <laughs> yep. And you talk about learning. It took a little piece of equipment back with it yes to study it yeah he said i'm taking this back with me things are about to get absolutely insane George. this is crazy i have a feeling crazy that, i have a feeling that we're about to enter titan world very soon yeah i have a feeling too all right so instead of i know we said we'd rewatch that scene in english yeah. do you want us to do that or check out no. episode two let's jump right to episode two George. all right Please, 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 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, everybody. What did we just witness? Do not tell us. Do not spoil anything. <laughs> <laughs> we always have to say that after the fact. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I think it's useless at this point to try to even <laughs> predict who that was, where they came from. I want to say something like Grisha or so, someone who's yeah. like, yeah, very smart. And his father? Possibly. Wisdom, age, intelligence. I mean, if we if we were to bet on it, we would bet that it's either Grisha or Annie's father. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. Other than that, we just don't know. All right, Jordan. Let's go try to find out. Thank you, everybody, for watching the first episode of season two. With us, we met who we think is the Beast Titan. Yeah. We will see you very soon. Do not forget. Be kind and keep an open mind, everybody. Peace.